Okay, and when water is charging, I can feel that I cannot move the nose here, so I will open it. Taking the armature out and we can test if the armature can move, yeah, the armature can move. And now this one is moving easily. So we need to inspect the gears. I have this small metal piece here. Okay, the gear looks not bad, the ball bearing. That looks very good. Okay, I'll take it later. Now I need to... Okay, what can we see here? Some MOSFETs. They look nice. Okay, now I can test the armature and the hammer in case. <laughs> okay, it can move now. Easy then. Of course, we still need to check it. Maybe we have some damage on the gears. Bulbing was good. Okay. Take it out, and uh, what can we see here? We can see that the anvil is jumped and it's stuck it here. I'll try to take it to the paper and uh, spin the anvil back. to put it to the vise. Yeah, it's stuck it really bad here. We'll try to hammer it. Still not moving. Okay. One of the things what we want to do now is to press this part and the hammer to get the angle out. Okay, maybe not the best angle for filming, but what I will try to do is to press this part. And I hope that anvil will get released. And as you can see the anvil don't want to get out. Okay, it's starting to move here. get out here but I think it must get out so I will try to press it even more and maybe I'll see the steel bearing inside okay, 
kämpa ett allt. Yeah, but definitely I think this one must go out. Um, and we can And I got my parts for the CNC machinist and now this one is moving easily. So what I need to do now is put some grease here and here and of course some grease here. And we have the ball, it was here inside. I will put a small amount of grease here. This one, insert it and of course check it. Yep, moves nice. So now I need to put the gears in. Getting the pin in. Second pin and the last one. Now goes the washer, and here we have the bearing. I need some socket to get a bearing in place. And yep, this can fit, or I will try to do it. And other way, yep, just gentle hammering, and we have the sparse assembled. So now I will put a little bit more grease here. Grease here inside the gears. The grease will go all around the gears. We have our hammering housing. Just greasing it. Okay, we got out of grease. It. Now we can look here, it spins. That's a good beginning if it spins. Okay. Um. Yep, so I hope it, it covers. Just need to align it. Forgot to tune the camera on. Okay, I'm removing the spring in here and I have the bearing. <laughs> Which was replaced, so I will put the plates. And I will try to hammer it slightly to check if it's moving. Yep. It's 
moving easily, so I will adjust the plate and knock it out. It was easy. Okay, now I have the same size bearing. I'm, I have the Timken bearing. And okay. Just making sure that it's the same size bearing. Yep, looks the same. Okay, now this one must be inserted. We can do that with a long socket and hammer it. Uh, I will put it on a vise on, on the bearing size and hammer it in. Okay, easy as that. Let's just hammer it. Now. I need to get back to my holding ring. Basically, it's not looks very strong, so okay, I'm not putting it with my fingers. I will put it with the pliers. Of course, the magnet started to catching the pliers. Okay, and we have the bearing on our armature. We have prepared the hammer housing, we set it and so on, so now we can put everything together. And I will try to insert the armature, spin it, yeah, spins good. can see the grease got on the armature gear from the gear I see that's a good sign that's what we want okay I will put it later lining it don't forget the pin here to the right making sure that everything here looks good trying to close it close it good We have the fully charged battery. Okay, it spins. Okay. It's really have some power. It's hard to hold. Yeah. We'll try on a slow mode. 
second. Okay. So this one is working. And something like that. So I hope it will last for a long time. For now, thank you for watching and bye.